Rays hosting the Marlins, and the Marlins are plus 158 on the money line. The Rays are minus 190. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you would win, or if they only lost the game by one run, you would win. The Rays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. So if you bet them that way and they win and it's only by one, you would still lose. Neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Marlins have lost Cabrera's last two appearances as a team. They are 6-4 and four as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five innings pitched and 6.6 strikeouts per game in his last 10 appearances. So keep an eye out for him on the K-line. Will there be a strikeout in this inning? If you get lucky and the K-line's at 6, you may want to chance it. If it's at 6.5, you may want to go under and stay away. For Glass now... The, uh, the Rays are 6-4 and four as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging 5 innings pitched and 7.2 strikeouts per game in those games. So he's another guy who's a batter in inning, and just depending upon what the casino sets the, the K-line at will depend upon whether or not you want to bet the over or the under. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The Rays are on a seven-game winning streak against the Marlins. The Rays are 9-1 against the Marlins in their last 10. The favorite is on a seven-game winning streak. The favorite is 8-2 on the money line. However, the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including two out of the last three games they've played against each other. The over-under is 5-5, five and, five, and the over 7.5 runs specifically is 6-4. The last series they played against each other was a two-game set in Miami, and the Rays won both of those games 2-1 to one and 7-2. to two. In the previous game to that, the Rays won 5-4 to four in Tampa. The Marlins, when this decides that it wants to load, are 2-8 and eight in their last 10. Losing to the, uh, uh, the Cardinals 6-4, to four, and then back-to-back -back games to the Rockies 6-1 to one and 4-3, to three, and then they beat the Rockies 3-2. to two. For the Rays... They are on a two-game losing streak. They are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. They are not doing very good. They are 2, 4, 5, 1, and 7 in their last 8. They played a four-game set against the Orioles. They only won one game. They lost 4-3, to three, then won 3 nothing, then lost 6-5, then lost 5-3. to three. I'm going to bank on the fact that the Rays play the Marlins incredibly well. So I'm going to take the Rays with the money line. I'm going to take the Rays laying the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.